Yelena and I are on the west side of Binghamton at 100 Leroy Street. Is or it, Leroy. Or Leroy. It's, you know. But it's still 100. It's still 100, and it's a fabulous home inside. This house was restored approximately 10 years ago, and the woodwork in here, the work that they did in the house, it's all very beautiful. We're between Laurel Avenue in Millard on Leroy Street, just down from the Beef Cavanaugh's Grocery Store. I've always said if I'm if I can't walk to Cavanaugh's Grocery Store, I feel like I'm camping out. <laughs> Yelena, what about the exterior of this house and the landscaping? Well, it's lovely landscaping. Look, it's just freshly cut, and uh, look at that porch. I would love to have a little tea there every day. Now it's about 10 years old, that house, that front porch was totally rebuilt. Right, and the roof is about eight years, which is lovely. Yeah. Now, let's go in and take a look at this beautiful Okay. Home. I think this is an awesome foyer and beautiful woodwork, original woodwork. Oh yeah, and then, I mean, just coming, there's so many details, the leaded glass windows in the front, the beveled glass door, the landing here on the steps going upstairs is, it's just some of the best woodwork I've seen on the west side of Binghamton. Three spindles per step. Now, John, tell me, is this a typical for west side? No, I think it's a, a, a step up from, from typical. It's, it's really exceptional and including this sitting room to our right here. Beautiful leaded glass windows. Bright, lots of light. Wow, and look at this beautiful alcove with the fireplace. Oh yeah, the built-in uh, benches here. Uh, beautiful wood. The wood floors throughout. Yeah, and more leaded glass in this oh, room. Yeah. The woodwork is very familiar to me. I used to live at 12 Davis Street, and I am certain that the same builder built this house as 12 Davis because it's identical uh, details in the trim work. An exquisite dining room, formal dining room, and another original chandelier. Look at that chandelier, it's unbelievable. More leaded glass, beautiful window. I like the trim work around it. There's crown molding in this room. It's beautifully painted. And it leads us into this kitchen. Wow. Very large kitchen, lots of light, hardwood cabinets, solid surface countertops. Nice. And it's a circular floor plan from the other, from the main hallway. I love these large dark tiles. The, uh, the half a bath and this kitchen are all approximately 10 years old. It's all been redone. Uh, there's modern lighting. It's a beautiful kitchen. Nice and place for breakfast. Yes. I love the staircase. Yes, and this curved banister. You just don't see this sort of thing. Now, again, there's hardwood floors up here throughout, and there's a lot of room. This wide hallway really makes it feel quite spacious up on the second floor. And it has four bedrooms. And the hardwood floors continue. And this is the master bedroom. Yes, and this large master bedroom has an access into another room, which you can use as a suite. This adjacent bedroom to the master bedroom can be converted easily to a master bath. When it was redone uh, 10 years ago, there's common plumbing right here. It's a rough out plumbing in this wall to create a full bath for the master bedroom. and you could create a much bigger walk-in closet. On this floor, we have four bedrooms and a bath that has been remodeled about 10 years ago. 
It's a large bathroom also. And they're really very generous sized rooms. You know also what I like about this house? The windows almost all the way down to the floor. And there's a staircase leading us to the attic, which is a very large attic finished and you can use it as a office room or the owners actually use it as a sound room. And very typical of a home of this vintage, there is a staircase back down to the kitchen. What a perfect morning on the west side. Oh yeah, and this is the perfect thing to do. If you own a home like this, sit out here, watch the world go by on a front porch. There's lots of people walking around usually. Oh yeah, and uh, I think that the condition of this front porch gives you a lot of, a buyer a lot of comfort because they don't have to worry about redoing this anytime in the near future because it's only 10 years old. <laughs> Tell everyone again about this beautiful house. Well, built in uh, prior to 1920, this house has four bedrooms, one and a half baths, some of the nicest woodwork I've seen in a long, long time and the beautiful uh, uh, little alcove in the living room with the fireplace and the benches, gorgeous. There is a finished attic that could be used for additional bedrooms if you needed it. Um, it's uh, just down the street from Cavanaugh's grocery store and the beef. And it's just a, a, a classic example of a west side home in the early 1900s in the Abel Bennett track. 100 Leroy. 100 Leroy Street. <laughs> Yelena, how does someone see this home? They can call us at 607-725-2122.